this is Deborah Georges here at Hartsfield International Airport in Atlanta. We're here waiting for Emily Wampier. She's coming back from um, Tokyo where she competed in the Olympics. And we're looking forward to seeing her and talking with her soon. Good afternoon. How are you today? Hi, I'm great. How are you? Why are you here today? Why are you here today? I'm here to greet Emily Grandpierre, who is coming back from the Tokyo Olympic Games. How did you feel knowing that um, your sister was able to compete like you had done years before? Yeah, it's, um, it's a legacy that keeps growing and getting bigger and stronger. And like to see her have a similar dream and go out and showcase the Haitian flag and make us really proud, it makes me feel proud. What would you like to tell her today um, when you see her? What is the first thing that you want to say to your sister? Um, I'm going to say that I'm so, so proud of you. I'm happy. I hope you had an amazing time and just give her a really big hug. Awesome. So we're looking forward to seeing Emily and um, her brothers are here too. Let me say hi to them. Hello, good afternoon. How are you today? Your name is? I'm, the, uh, I'm Alexander Grandpierre, uh, Emily's brother. And when you see your sister today, what would you like to say to her? Uh, just congratulate her. Um, she's done very well, so I bet she's happy just to be back home. Um, she deserves a break, so we're just happy to have her back home. Awesome. Hello, and you are? I'm Elijah, the neighbor. Uh, <laughs> very supportive still. Okay, and what would you like to say to Emily? A great job. I uh, heard she beat a record. Uh, so, yeah. Say that. Awesome. And you are? Hi, my name is Gina. Um, I am a friend of Emily and the Grand Pierre family and have been for a while now. I just want to say congratulations, Emily. I am so proud of you. Yeah, we are all very excited to see Emily. She just landed and we're just waiting for her to um, depart her flight and meet us here. Hold on, let's see who else is here. Hi, good afternoon, and you are? I'm Bianca Laplanche. I'm Emily's uh, cousin. Um, yeah. Hi, and what would you like to say to Emily? Uh, we are so proud of you. It was so great seeing you, and we're just really happy to have you home again. Did you watch the Olympics? I did. It was really cool to see her, watch her win her heat. That was impressive. And you were cheering for her as she was swimming, right? Oh, screaming. I hope she heard me all the way from Tokyo. <laughs> I think she did. We all heard you. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. And you are? Hi, my name is Nadia Giordani. I'm a friend of the Grandpierre family. We've been friends for 20 years now. So you have seen Emily grow up. What, what do you think about where she is at today? I think it's amazing. I think she's worked very hard to get to where she is. And I'm really proud of her. We all are very proud of her. And uh, she's a, a great girl. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we'll, we're here waiting on Emily still. She has not um, departed yet. We, we haven't seen her come, but um, we're going to take a break and come back when she's here. Thank you. Hi. Good afternoon, Cleo. How are you today? Hi. Hi. How are you? Awesome. So how do you feel knowing that um, we're waiting on Emily? Oh my God, I'm so excited. First of all, as a mom, I'm happy. I can't wait to see her, to know that she's traveled across the other side of the world and she's making it back. So my heart is pounding because I want her to be home. <laughs> this is your second daughter that went to the Olympics. How does that feel? The first one was this one, Naomi. <laughs> well, I guess the excitement is the same, but each child is different, so for Naomi, she was the first, so it was a little bit more stressful, but Naomi, Emily being the youngest, it's another type of stress. <laughs> yes, I would, I would think. <laughs> yes, yes, but we are, I'm so proud of her. As a family, as Haitian, we have a coach who trained her here for the city. Coach, you want to come over? Come over. Because it's Coach Jackson from the city of Atlanta. Oh. Actually, he's the one who gave Emily, the strategy, how to race so she can come first in her heat. So we all owe one to Coach Jackson because he helped me. I'll definitely be talking to Coach Jackson soon. <laughs> okay. But let me ask you this. How did you feel knowing that Emily was the first swimmer to touch the wall? 
Oh my God, this was an exciting moment. I think I still have, uh, I, I, I still lost my voice. Like my voice is still hoarse from screaming so much. So we were so proud. We were screaming all over the place. That was really like a proud moment. And I think that Haitians really need that because we've been going through so much negativity. So having that image of the flag placed as number one in the pool gave us some prize that we can be more than what they are showing on TV. Yes, and thank, thankful that um, Emily really did great. I'm sorry that um, she did not go on any further, but I am proud of her. I did see her swim, and I'm looking forward to talking to her um, right after I speak to Coach Jackson, yes, who is hiding in the back. <laughs> and just to say that Emily, even though she didn't go on to semifinals and finals, she um, cut three seconds of her record and she established a new national record for Haiti in the 100 meter breaststroke. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I'm so very proud of her. Can't, can't wait to talk to her. Oh, and welcome her back home to Atlanta. Thank you. Hi, Coach Jackson. Hi, I'm here with um, Caribbean Focus TV here at um, Hartsville Atlanta Airport talking with Coach Jackson who trained Emily Grandpier. How are you today? I'm doing fine. How do you feel knowing that someone that you trained did such a good and strong performance at the Olympics? Oh, it was a great feeling. Uh um, I'm so overjoyed because uh, she worked real hard for it and, and mentally we did a lot of preparation for what she was doing. And Puerto Rican was a d disappointment and we talked about it. I watched her, I watched her race in Puerto Rico and, uh, and we made some changes and, uh, and I told her come on back and train some more. I heard that you gave her some strategies in order to do as well as she did here today. Do you want to talk about that? Uh, it's just simple what I tell all, all the women that I coach. Where well, they should be swimming in the pool. You know what I mean? You, you want to make sure you're swimming at, at the uh, beginning of the race fast and at the end of the race fast. As her coach, seeing that she was the first swimmer to touch the wall, what did you, how did you feel at that moment? As I said before, I was so overjoyed because uh, uh, we, we knew she was going to do well. You know, and uh, to win the first heat, you know, that was a green come true. And I'm, I'm real happy for her because she worked real hard and it paid off. Yes, she certainly did. Um, I can't wait um, for all of us to see her. She has not, um, she has not come off the plane as, as of yet, but we are here at Hartsfield International Airport in Atlanta waiting to see her and waiting to make sure that um, we can all tell her how happy we are and how well she did. Well, one other thing, you know, uh, she was, she been with me since she was 11 years old. And so she pretty much know me and I know her, you know. And uh, uh, being away, she in Puerto Rico, she sending me, sending me the uh, race and everything. I look at the race and then she tell me uh, what she need to do and I tell her how to do it. Oh, that's awesome. So you guys kept in touch. Did you guys keep in touch here when she was in Tokyo too? No, well, I, I made a couple of uh, texts to her and uh, she, she hooked up with the coach from Florida and, and so, uh, you know, I knew she would do well. Definitely, we all did. Thank you so much for talking with me today and we will again have a, a small talk when we talk to, when we see Emily. All right, thank you. Blessings. Hello, good afternoon. This is Deborah Georges here at Atlanta International Airport talking with Reggie, Emily Davis, Emily Grandpier's um, dad. How are you today? I am ecstatic. Oh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's hold that Haitian flag up. Well, this, this, this is my dad's flag, so he's carried it all his life, and now I'm a proud bearer of it. So her grandpa is here in spirit with In her. spirit, that's right, with the flag. <laughs> how, how do you feel about Emily's performance at, the, at Tokyo? Well, it was her best race, so we've been um, seeing her improve 
year after year and it's great to see her run, swim her best race in front of the world. So we're very happy. When you realized that she shaved three minutes off of her time, what did you think? Well, you know, when I realized that uh, she, she, like you said, shaved three seconds from her time, it was amazing. I knew that um, this was something that I remember telling her, you need to, you know, remove a couple of seconds. And she said, Daddy, that's impossible to do. But, you know, in the moment, with the adrenaline, with uh, just the, the spirits, the impossible was done. So I'm very encouraged. And this is a sign of what's to come. So with all her Haitian ancestry and her grandpa's spirit, um, she did manage to shave those three minutes that was impossible. Yes, she did. And uh, with her coach too. I'm sure you just spoke to, uh, to Coach Jackson. And, and one thing that um, is very important is that Emily swam with all of her family and all of our I yeah. love and the coaching of Coach Jackson. Yes, um, that's why I mentioned Haitian spirits. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yes, because God was with her. I remembered us talking with her before. Um, we did it via Zoom, but um, she was in great spirits and looking forward to the Olympics, and I'm happy to see her. Yeah, I can't wait to see her. I've, I feel her transformation. I felt her transformation from Atlanta, so I can't wait to be able to hug her and, and see her how she's grown. What is the first thing you want to say when you see her? Welcome home. Well done. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in with us uh, here at um, Caribbean Focus TV. We're here at Atlanta Jackson International Airport waiting on Emily Guampere. Thank you. Emily, how are you? I'm doing well, and you? I am well. Uh, how does it feel to be been the athlete to go to, from Haiti to go to Tokyo? Um, it was truly an honor. The entire experience was amazing from start to finish. Um, the people were great. Uh, I had an amazing time, and it was an honor of a lifetime to represent Haiti. So, How did you feel when you realized you were the first athlete to touch the wall? Um, that moment is crazy. I still like relive it sometimes. Um, it was so crazy. I knew a lot of the like uh, my competitors in that that heat, so it was just a great experience to race with friends. So, and I'm glad I won. <laughs> Congratulations again. So I hear that you and I saw that you shaved three minutes. How does that feel? Um, yeah, that was a big deal for me um it's just all my hard work paying off i've been putting a lot of time into the pool so to see to touch the wall and to see that i had gone a personal best was just a great experience so um we're working again for the next next olympics right <laughs> fingers crossed yes hopefully hopefully i can make it to paris <laughs> We will. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for taking the time and coming. I feel so honored and special. <laughs> Congratulations again. We're so proud of you. And um, I'm sure you heard your parents and friends from um, <laughs> their living room. Yes, I did. I did. I felt all the support. I watched all the videos from home. And yeah, I brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> thank you so much for representing Haiti. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs>